Hi guys, it's Mr B here and in today's video we're going to be doing a bit of maths and we're going to be looking at adding multiples of 10 and 100s. Firstly, let's work out what this means. So, we've got this word here, multiples. So, multiples of 10 and 100. All that means is numbers that are in the 10 times table when I'm talking about multiples of 10 and numbers that are in the 100 times table when I'm talking about 100. So some perfect examples here, if I had questions like 20 plus 30 and 40 plus, 10, um, 40 plus 50, sorry, that's question adding numbers together that are multiples of 10. And then questions like 500 plus 200 or 300 plus 600, that's adding some numbers that are multiples of 100. So that's what we mean. Again, some um, maths jargon that we don't really need uh, confusing us. Okay, when it's actually something quite simple. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down and we're going to see how it's really actually easy to do these sums. Okay, so we're going to look at two, some two-digit numbers. Okay, um, but to break it down, to get to these two-digit numbers, we're just going to look at some simple sums. So we're going to do the sum 6 plus 3, which is two one-digit numbers. Okay, and we can count on because they're quite low. And we can work that out. 6 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9 is our answer. But what we're going to do is we're going to use what we know about that to work out another question. So let me show you this sum, 60 plus 30. Okay. Now that looks like it's a harder sum, but actually it's the same thing. Because I've got nothing in my ones column, I'm doing nothing. I'm not adding anything together. I'm not taking anything away. 0 plus 0 is zero, isn't it? So that's going to stay the same. So zero ones plus zero ones is zero. So now all I need to do is my six tens plus my three tens, which if you look and notice, it is the same nine as above, because we've got six and three. So six uh, tens and three tens and nine tens, six ones and three ones and nine ones. So here I'm saying I've got nine tens, so 90. Brilliant. And then if I move even further down, if I've got 600 and I'm adding 300, again, now I'm adding two three-digit numbers and it looks like it's going to be more difficult. But again, we have in our ones and tens column now, both zeros and zeros plus zero is going to be nothing. So those aren't going to change. Now I just need to add my two uh, hundreds numbers, six plus three again. So there you can see there that pattern shows us that all we actually need to, need to know how to do is to add two one-digit numbers and then we can add these multiples together. Let's have a look with another one. Let's do uh, 4 plus uh, 2. 4 plus 2 is an easy sum for us to do. Or we can even do it on our hands. 4, 5, 6. We've added 2 on and we're at 6. So that means we can easily do now, I don't have to think about it, 40 plus 20 is going to be 60. And 400 plus 600 is, oh, sorry, I'm changing the sum there, plus 200 is going to be 600. Getting ahead of myself, I'll put my answer in my actual sum like a number. So we can see there that clear pattern. So now what we can do, if we just get these questions, we don't have to build this out. We can if we want to, if you want to double check, we'll work at the two one digit numbers, and work our way on. But if we've got these two numbers here, we put our equals there, because remember our equals can go on either side and the additions can. 20 plus 30, I'm not going to do it on my sums, I'm going to say look at my first two numbers, 2 plus 3, uh, which is 5. And then, oh, 5 and then my two zeros. So now I've got 40 plus 50. So what I'm just right, I'm gonna do my four plus my five, which is nine. And then I've got my two zeros together. So it is 90. And then five plus 500 plus 200, I just do my five plus my two, which is seven. And then I've got my two zeros. And then again, 300 plus 600 um, is gonna be nine, three plus six, and then add my two zeros on. And I could double check that by, I could, I could quickly go underneath, I could say, right, well, what's three plus six? It's nine. Okay, so that should be the right number. Now, what you do have to be careful of is this is great. But if I have this number, if I 
it's not going to work with that one. And that's an easy sum that we can do. We'll probably look at that one in another video. But we can see that because this is a two digit number, and my tens, and this is a three digit number in my hundreds, we can't just do plus four plus one, which is five, then add my zero, look, put my two zeros on, 500, because we know 100 plus 40 is nowhere near 500. So again, we're using what we know about mass in order to work out. So that's not the right answer, okay? Uh, with this one, we would do, because we've got our zeros, our two zeros together would be zero, zero and four would be four, so it'd be 140. But we could look at those in another video. Just be careful, make sure our two numbers have the same amount of digits. Two digits, two digits, two digits, two digits, three digits, three digits, three digits, three digits. And then sometimes we have to go over 10. It's what we call bridging 10, going over 10. I'll show you what I mean. If I've got this sum, six plus five, my answer is 11, okay? But it's simple, we can still use our exact same technique we've been using. So if we had 60 plus 50, again, six plus five is 11, then plus my zero one. And again, with my hundreds, six plus five is still 11. And now we've got our two zeros on there. So it's 1,100. So even if we're going over 10, we can still do those easy sums um, and work out the answers if they're multiples of 10 and 100. And remember, the easiest way to see if they're multiples of 10 or 100 is we will have just zeros after our first digits. Hope that video helped. Until next time, I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. As the same goes, I think you've got to smash that like button if that helped you, and I hope it did. Um, if there's any questions or anything else that I can help you with, you can put it in the comments below. I try and help out, or you can contact me on Mr. Biggins123 on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and I'll try and help you if I can. Okay. Uh, obviously, subscribe as well. You'll see all the videos as they come up, and they might help you with other things that you are doing with your work as well. Until next time, see you later and stay safe.